When you think of a hardware store, jewelry probably isn't the first thing that comes to mind, but after watching this DIY, that is all gonna change. I'm Allison McNamara, and welcome to Pop Sugar Girl's Guide. Here's what you'll need. A variety of nuts and washers, nylon cord, scissors, tape, a lighter, and nail polish. The first thing you have to do is head on over to your local hardware store, I know, it might be kind of like scary at first, and pick out your favorite nuts and bolts to create this necklace that we're going with. So what I did is I really wanted to get a mixture of silver, gold, and kind of like a rose gold. So I went with basically all different sizes of nuts and washers, but again, totally up to you, so get creative. Once you picked out all of your accoutrements for your necklace, we need to measure out our nylon cord. You can make this any length that you want. You can make it short, long, mid-length. Just make sure it fits over your head so you can slide it on and off. And always have a little bit extra when you measure it out. That way, when you go to make that knot at the very end to tie it off, like this one, you've got some room to play with. Before you start putting on all the nuts and washers, it's always a good idea to tape the ends. You see how it's starting to fray? Well, the more you put on the nuts and the washers, it's gonna continue. So to prevent that from happening, little piece of tape. Now the fun part, we're stringing on all of our nuts and our washers. I'm gonna use this big, larger nut as my hero piece in the center. I'm gonna string it on. And then to make it lay horizontally, nice and flat, you're actually gonna take one side and loop it through again. And then just make sure it's centered in the middle of the two strands. Hero's in the middle. Now just string on as many as you want on either side. Do remember that we are using hardware, so it does get a little heavy, so I would lean on the conservative side, but just have fun with it. Layer different sets of washers and colors, and you know, really find something that you like. I am more of the matchy-matchy type, so I'm gonna make both my left and my right side the same, but entirely up to you if you wanna break the rules and have mismatched sides. I am happy with my design, so once you are content, it's time to seal it off and pick the length. Like I said, you can have it any length that you choose. I want mine to hit about right here, so I'm gonna actually tie it on my neck. Double knot it. Really pull it as tight as you can, that double knot. Since we are using nylon cord, it's a bit harder to double knot, it's slippery. So, cut off both excess sides. Make sure you don't cut the necklace. Then take your lighter and we're gonna burn both sides as well as parts of the knot. You'll see since it is nylon, it does melt pretty fast. All right, and one final thing to make sure it's nice and in place is using your clear nail polish and just getting it in between all the little crevices where the knots are and letting it dry. This will really seal it all in. The nail polish dries pretty fast, takes about 20 minutes, and then your necklace is ready to wear. Who knew a hardware store could look this chic? I'm Allison McNamara, and thanks for watching us here on Designer DIY on Pop Sugar Girl's Guide. And enjoy your hardware.